Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. This video is part three of a five-part series on noun and pronoun function. In the first two videos in this series, we looked at the subject and the direct object. The next logical step is to look at the indirect object. If the subject is the person or thing doing the action, and the direct object is the person or thing the subject does the action to, the indirect object is the recipient or beneficiary of that action. Here, the action is reading. The subject is the mother because she's the one carrying out that action. The direct object is the thing she's reading, a book. The baby is the beneficiary of that action. So in grammatical terms, the word baby becomes the indirect object. Here's another example. To find the subject, ask who is doing the action. The answer is the woman, because she is the one giving her husband something. That makes her the subject. To find the direct object, ask what she is giving. The answer is the gift. That makes the gift the direct object because the action is being done to it. To find the indirect object, ask who benefits or receives. The man is the indirect object because he is the recipient or beneficiary of the action of giving. Here's one more example. The man on the right, who is the former German finance minister, is speaking. So if you ask who is doing the action, in other words, who is speaking, the answer is the finance minister. That makes him the subject. If you ask what the German finance minister is saying, then technically the direct object has to be the sentence inside the quotes. That sentence is, after all, what he is saying. Now ask who the recipient or beneficiary of his speaking is. In other words, who is receiving the message? The answer is the man on the left, who is the British finance minister. That makes him the indirect object because he is the recipient or beneficiary of the action carried out by the man on the right. Indirect objects go into the dative case, whose article endings are listed here. Remember that some articles take the same endings as der, die, and das, while others take the same endings as ein and eine. If you need a refresher on which words take which endings, just do a quick search for dia words and ein words. It can be useful to identify indirect objects because German sentences often begin with something that isn't the subject. It's not uncommon to find sentences like this one in German. If you accidentally overlook the dative case marker dem, you might think that the subject of the sentence is the British finance minister, which could lead you to think that the British minister called Brexit a bad idea. That isn't what happened. If, on the other hand, you catch the dative case marker dem, you will realize that the British finance minister is the indirect object and that the subject is the German finance minister. He is the one who told the British finance minister that Brexit was a bad idea. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.